The following video is a reenactment of a tragic event which occurred on one of our rigs in Kuwait. Please watch the video and listen very closely. We want all of our employees to work safely and to go back to their families safe and well. What has occurred in the past cannot be changed. But we all have the gift to look after ourselves and our families to the best of our abilities for the future. Please use this video as a discussion in your safety meetings and ask yourselves, what would you do different? On the 27th of July 2008, there was tragic incident on Rig 776. Mr. Ahmed Qasim Ahmed, an assistant driller on Rig 776, was critically injured in fall. Ahmed succumbed to his injuries and died on 1st August 2008. It's very important that we make this short movie about the sad turn of events on one of our rigs so that it can be distributed to all our operations so this will never happen again. Our goal is no one gets hurt and we work hard to achieve this and I hope this movie helps everyone see how easy it is to start a job the wrong way and continue to make mistakes until a tragedy has happened. This is what happened. On July 27th this year, we had an incident happen on one of our rigs here in Kuwait. Unfortunately, this incident resulted in a fatality and sadly, we lost one of our teammates. The incident happened around 300 hours in the morning. The job was testing the 13 and 5 8 15,000 BOPs on the stump. During the handover for the day pusher to the night pusher, it was mentioned to use the crane for this job. When the BOPs were ready to test, the crane operator was not on the location. The night tool pusher decided to use a certified boom lifting device to install the test joint inside the BOPs. When they picked the, B, the test joint up with the certified boom, it was not long enough to be able to install the test joint inside the BOPs. The night tool pusher had the welder cut a hole inside a 30-foot joint of 7 and 5 eighths casing at one end and install a lifting device to use this with the forklift to install the test joint inside the BOP instead of the certified boom. When they tried to install the test joint with this method, it also was too short with the lifting device attached to the lifting cap on top of the test joint. It was then decided to fasten the lifting device to a lower part of the test joint using a strap. When they lifted the test joint this way, it went inside the top of the BOP, but hung up inside and would not go all the way down due to the angle of the pipe. It was decided to send the AD and a roustabout on top of the BOP in the genie lift. When the genie lift was positioned at the top of the BOP, the AD decided to get out of the genie lift and climb on top of the BOP. He centered the test joint and the night pusher singled the forklift operator to lower the test joint. As the test joint was being lowered, a casing struck the AD on the head and knocked him off the top of the BOPs to the ground level. 
The AD had nine broken ribs and two vertebrae in his back broke. He was taken to the hospital and passed away on August 1st this year. Close friend, my close friend. Very good man, this. But I don't know this guy, but I told four or five times, Ahmed, he don't, uh, he is crying, maybe half an hour is coming crying. Why you take risk? Why you take risk? Now, four o'clock now, maybe six o'clock is coming, operate. This tragedy for Ahmed's family and also all our thought are with them now and in the future. It is also tragedy for me personally, for the people of the rig and the whole company. This incident was the most severe kind of wake-up call you can have. The investigation showed that we are more than complacent. We didn't think this can happen to us. We failed collectively in too many ways. Procedure, leadership, following management system, following operations, safety management, and procedure. Time out for safety saves life. Every, every, everyone must learn that. This incident has served us to change the way we manage our operation, the way that we view our personnel, and cause us to put safety firmly where it belongs. Operational safety management is a direct function of line management. When the management fail, it is the duty of every person in every task to stop the operation by calling time off for safety. It is the supervisor duty to honor time off for safety and stop the operation for reassessment. Please learn from the incident. Thank you for your time.